And hello, Facebook, Prophet Jamie Taylor here. I am sorry that I am a few minutes late. There was literally traffic backed up all the way from church to home. And I mean literally, it was just wall-to-wall -wall traffic. So, got in really late, but that's okay, because we still got the word of the Lord. So, let's say a word of prayer, then we'll jump on in. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your kindness, thank you for your love. Thank you for instant access to your presence by faith. I ask you to fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill my mind, my brain, my eyes, my mouth, my hands, every part of me, oh God. That you might breathe through me and that what you want said might be said. That you might be glorified and that the saints might be edified and that the demons might be terrified. We thank you for it and we believe you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Today's prophetic word is, give me my mountain. Today's prophetic word is, give me my mountain. So I'm going to release the rainbow word the Lord gave me, and then we'll look at our scripture reference. For thus saith the Lord, for behold, my people, it is time for you to stop being angry at you. Some of y'all are carrying things that you did two, five, seven, ten years ago, and you haven't forgiven yourself, and you're getting bogged down in fear and guilt and shame. Some of y'all feel like you're too old to do what I've called you to do, that you had your time, you missed your window, and now it's not going to happen for you. You need to change your confession, and you need to say like Caleb in the scripture, give me my mountain that I might possess what was promised to me by the Lord our God. And so therefore, my people, I release unto you a spirit of mountain climbing faith that no matter where you are in life, no matter what age or stage of life, you will have the strength, you will have the power, you will have the fire to climb the mountain and possess all that God has called you to possess. <clears throat> and today, uh, it starts right now. It's not two weeks from now. It's not three minutes from now. It's right now that the spirit and the fire and the power of God I have released unto you. So change your confession and say like Caleb, Caleb give me my mountain. Says the spirit of the living God. All right. Amen. Amen. So. What the Spirit of God wants us to get out of this is a lot of what you just heard in that prophetic word. And that is that uh, if you don't know the story of Joshua and Caleb, uh, the background is in Joshua chapter 14. And it would be really good to read the whole chapter, but I'm not going to read the whole chapter right now. Um, if you're coming on, please like and share, because as I've told you, when there's a prophetic word to be re released, the body of Christ needs to see it worldwide. So, uh, But the story of Joshua and Caleb is... When they got to the edge of the promised land out of Egypt, Moses sent 12 spies. Joshua and Caleb were two of those spies, and they came back with a positive report. They came back with a report that says, we can take it. We're where we are well able to overcome. They said, we can take the land. It's ours. But 10 of the spies came back and said, oh, we can't do it. Oh, they're grasshoppers. Oh, they're giants. Uh, we're grasshoppers in their sight. We're grasshoppers uh, in their sight. They're giants. When they look at us, you know, they're going to crush us. And I wish we were back in Egypt and blah, blah, blah. And then people whined and complained. And they doubted God so bad until God cursed them to wander in the wilderness for 40 years till they died. And God said, I'm only going to take the people in uh, age of 21 and under, except for Joshua and Caleb. Now, Joshua and Caleb uh, were 40 and 45, respectively, respectively. So those people wandered in the wilderness for 40 years until all of them died, except the young people and Joshua and Caleb. That means <clears throat> by the time that Joshua and Caleb got back around, they were 80 and 85 years old. But in Joshua chapter 14, uh, Caleb says to Joshua, give me my mountain. In other words, uh, he also says in those, verse, those verses, I'm as strong today as I ever have been both to go out and to come in and to war. So Caleb told Joshua, I'm an 85-year-old man, but I got just as much strength and capability now as I did 40 years ago. So what the Holy Ghost is telling me is that there's going to be a supernatural outpouring on older people. There are some people who maybe you never made it to the promised land, but maybe it wasn't your fault. Maybe you believed God, but you were hooked up with some people that didn't, and it cost you some time. And now you are much older than you had planned to be getting ready to take your promised land. The Holy Ghost is saying he's going to release supernatural strength to you. And a diet is a part of that too. But he's going to release supernatural strength to you as well as the natural strength that comes from a good diet. 
to help you live long, to help you retain your strength, to help you be enabled to do everything that God is calling you to do. Okay? So, we're supposed to fear not, but we're supposed to go ahead on and take the promised land. Now, remember, your personal promised land is your vision, your dream, the thing you've been dreaming about since you were a kid. Whatever that looks like for you, whatever you and God agreed upon, you know, that's your personal promised land because it's personal for every person. That's what you're supposed to take. And God is saying, if, even if you're 85 years old, and even if it's not your fault that you're showing up so late in life to take the promised land, you can still take it, okay? Because God is going to give you supernatural strength. So don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Don't be downtrodden. And don't let people talk you out of it. Because people will try to talk you out of it. How do we know that's true? Because Abraham didn't have Isaac until he was 100 years old. When God changed his name to Abraham, Abraham means father of many nations. So when he met people, he said, my name is the father of many nations. But he only had the one child, Ishmael. He didn't have Isaac until he was 100 years old. Okay? Mary was on the other end of the spectrum. Mary scholars agree that Mary, Jesus' mom, was somewhere between 12 and 14 years old. So we'll split the difference and say she was 13. So she had a baby super early in life. Okay? So in both cases, people would have turned their nose up and said that was wrong. They would have said it was wrong for a young girl, supposed to be a virgin, pregnant, out of wedlock. And she went around talking about that's the Messiah. That's why everybody expected Joseph to put her away. But Gabriel talked to Joseph and told him, don't do that. Go ahead on and marry her. And then you got people on the other end of the spectrum, like Abraham, 100 years old. Still making love to his wife, still making babies. So I bring those examples up to let you know that you have to not worry about what people think. You have to not worry about what people say. And do what the Lord is telling you to do. And if the Lord is telling you that you can still move forward and take that promised land, he will give you supernatural strength. One of the ministers I grew up underneath, Reverend Pate B. Harrison Sr., even when he got up in age, he was super strong. Like when he would hug you, that power was in his bones and it would hurt. Okay, I'm not making that up in the slightest. See, so the anointing of God, my pastor has been preaching about it, Apostle John Eckhart, has been preaching about when the anointing of God gets in your bones. Okay, it's life and health to your bones. So I just wanted to stop by and release that prophetic word and make sure that you are encouraged, no matter what your age or stage of life, that you move forward and take the promised land that God has promised you. All right? Uh, if you have any prayer requests, put them on the screen. Uh, I'm going to pray in tongues and ask the Holy Ghost if there's any healing, any demons that need to be cast out, any more prophetic words, and any more financial prophetic words. Okay, uh, I think that's it. All right, y'all, quick word today, but a powerful one. You need to meditate on it. And remember not to let anybody take it from you, okay? No matter your age or stage of life, if God says you can still do it, he's going to give you supernatural strength to do it. So this week, I want you to keep that in your head, and I want you to be sure to charge forward and take your promised land, all right? Amen, and God bless you. Christmas is coming up. Have a good Christmas holiday. My Christmas books are out. My prophetic devotional is also available. So I'll put that link beneath the video so you can check that out because that's available now. And you can get that going and be ready for January 1st so you can strengthen your own prophetic walk in God. All right? Amen. God bless you. Have a great Christmas. And I will see you next week.